Now we'll get to all those stories and more here soon. But first, we want to start with an update to the Dewan Simmons trial, a story we and myself personally have been following for three years now. Behind bars is where this man, Francisco Mendez, will spend the rest of his life. He was sentenced today for the murder of Dewan Simmons. Now, you may remember Dewan Simmons was killed in April of 2019. He and his friends were celebrating after his teammate Corey Ballantyne was drafted to the NFL. Here's what happened. Police say Simmons and Ballantyne were standing outside of a party during the trial. Witnesses recalled the two leaving when someone approached them. They asked if he has gas or smoke for sale. The two said no. The car then left and then drove back around and opened fire. Now Simmons was fatally shot and Ballantyne was shot as well, but not severely injured. In March of this year, a jury found Mendez guilty on one count of first degree murder for killing Dewan Simmons. Here's what happened at today's sentencing. Francisco Mendez appears in person now. Counsel Kevin Shepard. Thank you, Counsel. Counsel, we are here today for sentencing. Francisco Mendez appearing in court one more time before finding out his sentencing for the murder of Dewan Simmons. But before his fate was determined, family members of Dewan shared memories of the young man taken by a gun for no reason. Mr. Mendez, I understand that you don't want to speak uh, today on your own behalf. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Alright. That's your that's your right. It, it would have been nice if you could have said something that could have possibly brought some answers or some peace to the family or to the community, but it's your right not to speak. Although Mendez decided not to take the stand to explain why he shot Dewan, his family spoke up for the young man gone before his time. Dewan's sister, who is only 14 months younger than him, talked to Francisco first, saying Dewan was sent on this earth to be a light for others. I just don't know that I love him. I also still have hope that I will see him again. Um, and I just want you to know that he will always be that we were all able to get through this. Other family members expressing how frustrating it is to see another life lost to gun violence. Dewan's grandfather taking the stand to ask for the maximum sentence. I'm glad you got an opportunity to finally see the person that you never got an opportunity to meet. But you chose to pull a gun on and shoot for no apparent reason whatsoever because he did nothing to you. I am so tired of this country deciding that a gun is the only way to resolve whatever issue you have. I can't use the word I want to use for what you are to me, but I will say coward. To make sure Francisco understood who the man was taken from this earth, Dewan's father took the stand last, placing the last pieces they have left of their son in front of him. If you would have known my son, you would have liked my son. Probably would have loved my son. He would have wrapped his arms around you, because that's the type of cat that he was, and you decided that night to just, right after that, pull up and take his life. And we're left with things that's in front of us, what he came to school for, his education, and to play football. Dewan Simmons' family will never have the chance to see him again in person. Only the memories left from his time in Topeka in childhood pictures. But one thing they are taking away from this is seeing his killer behind bars. In count one for the first degree premeditated murder of Dwayne Simmons, the court would sentence you to a term of life without the possibility of parole before having served 50 years.